back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious, and today I'm going to show you how I cook a fried egg. I start with a good heap of butter in a pan. So fried eggs are good because of the type of item that you use to cook them in. Whether it be water or oil or shortening, it's the butter that matters the most. So the first thing I'm going to do is get butter in a pan and heat it up till it's nice and hot. Which shouldn't take long for an overheated pan. So we need butter in a pan heated to hot and we need an egg. So we have one egg. We wait until the butter in the pan is completely melted and heated to temperature to fry an egg. Believe it or not, it's not melted yet. So I don't know about you, but I like my yolk broke in my egg. And hopefully you don't get eggshell in like I did, but trick to eggshells is to use the shell to get the eggshell out. So we're just gonna fry that egg in that yummy, yummy butter. Butter makes the best eggs. But an egg also needs pepper and salt. Lots of salt, right? <laughs> and then I just wait for it to kind of simmer in that butter and get that nice juicy butter flavor. It's like a pancake. It starts bubbling to the top and then it's ready to flip. There's my fried egg in butter. Because butter is better, especially when you're frying eggs. And then I just kind of cut it up because I like me some scrambled eggs. Who doesn't like them some scrambled eggs? <laughs> Got my pan almost ready. My mouth is just watering because the best thing for breakfast is a nice fried egg in butter, salt and pepper, and a piece of toast. Now I don't like to overcook my scrambled egg. I like the yolk to be just a little bit undercooked. So I have my fried egg with butter because it makes it better. Remember. Now it's time for the taste test. Mm. Fried eggs and butter are the bomb. That's a lot of bees in one sentence. So join me next time for another great recipe on Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye, y'all.